everyone. I'm back here at lovely Universal Studios. It's got here a little later than normal. Um, normally I like to show up at right around park opening to try to like ride the newer rides, but couldn't do that today. Woke up a little bit late, which is fine. Um, with Halloween, like right around the corner, like literally two days, three days from now, um, they're gonna get rid of all the Halloween stuff, the houses, the scarecrow walk, the tribute store. So since last episode, I made it a point to do the tribute store. This episode, I'm gonna try to do the scarecrow walk, which is simple. They give you like a little map and you go around to the different uh, gift stores at the ends of rides or what have you. God, it's windy. Um, and you just get a little stamp and at the end of it, you, you pick up like a bag of candy, which is like candy corn or gummy worms or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna try to ride some of the rides I haven't ridden yet or some of the other ones and then pick up something to eat because I am a little bit hungry. Now there's gotta be some sort of event coming on because I was literally here two days ago and none of this was here. It looks like it's a bunch of production or stage stuff. Like, tons of it. So either they're shooting a scene or doing something. It's right outside of a uh, Lombard's landing right in front of the uh, custom gear place. But self production equipment. It's kind of cool, actually. 
So apparently it's for season three of the Oprah Network, David Meets Man or something like that. It's so awesome seeing all this stuff. Well, we'll swing by again later and see what's going on, if we can catch him filming or something, which I mean, I doubt it, but still it'd be cool. That's awesome. And that's my day. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, I did the scarecrow walk, got some gummy worms out of that. It's just a little bag. I mean, it's nothing too impressive, but still it's more the experience and going through and looking at all the, the skeletons. The Universal Store one was just crazy, just towered over you. The Men in Black one was amazing, especially with like the pumpkin as the space helmet. I thought that was a neat touch. Um, I rode a couple rides and you know, got to re-experience some. Uh, the mummy and oh, it's not showing its age is worse like as some of the others but uh, there's a point I don't want to ruin the ride for people who haven't ridden it yet there's a point where it does a hard break and I don't remember it being so hard that it just like threw you forward uh, like so many people on the ride I like actually cried out in pain and it, 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 even me like I hit my more sensitive bits on the ride at that point because of how the seats are designed how they like are designed basically like buckets so that you sink into them uh it hurt <laughs> so that has to do with like the braking system you know in most roller coasters fun fact roller coasters aren't forever they actually have a, a shelf life uh the hulk as an example then when the hulk got revamped they didn't just like clean it up and fix it they actually totally tore it down and rebuilt a whole new coaster with the exact same layout 
So it, it's at that point where you got to think uh, how old is a coaster before they're at a point where you're like, okay, we need to tear this thing down. Um, and I don't think the mummy's there yet, but it's definitely on the, the, the back end of its shelf life. Uh, I wonder if we'll ever get it where they run it in reverse, which I think they do in California every now and then for like events or something like that. That would be cool. I would like to ride the mummy backwards. If this one can even do it, it might not even be set up for that capability. Um, as you can tell, I got the keeper gear. They have the keeper hats in stock at Harry Potter. Next time I come out, I'm probably just gonna go through all those shops and just like videotape. It, it's a feast for the eyes. Harry Potter World is like the best theming out of any theme park I've been to. Disney, Sea World, what have you. Um, what's, what's your favorite theming like? And all the theme parks you've been to or areas you've been to, uh, Halloween or whatever, what has the best thematic theming do you think in, in your opinion? Just comment down below. Uh, but that's, that's it, we're done. I'm gonna go home, relax, try not to cry as my feet, you know, scream at me for what I did to them today. Um, and just, if you like what you're seeing, like the video helps a ton uh subscribe to get more i'm going to try to get two to three of these out every week um this way they show up in your notifications um yeah and comment if you want to strike up a conversation but with that i am going to go home and probably take a long bath <laughs> have a good one everyone